Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, August 26, 2014. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, we finally know who won the Republican primary in the 4th Congressional District House of Representatives race. Manchester and Tullahoma residents will vote in November to decide if wine sales in grocery stores will be permitted. The city of Manchester receives a grant from the state's Safe Route to Schools program. And the Tennessee Valley Authority has announced a rate increase. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Get fit for life, Tullahoma. Join the urgent team Get Fit Tullahoma Health Fair and Fitness Expo Saturday, September 13th at Northgate Mall from 9 until noon. Speak to health professionals, receive free health screenings, see different types of fitness demos, and more. And this year, we've introduced Green Vendors. Learn about sustainable energy and recycling. Don't miss this free and fun-filled morning for the whole family. Come out and see us Saturday, September 13th at Northgate Mall. Did you know that Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac has the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles in Southern Middle Tennessee? We have wholesale pricing and clearance specials on select pre-owned vehicles. Our selection includes pre-owned Chevys, Hondas, Toyotas, Kias, Fords, Jeeps, almost every other make and model there is. You can check out over 200 pre-owned vehicles that have been thoroughly inspected and serviced by our factory certified technicians at StanMcNabb.com. With over 20 lenders, we can help you get the financing you need. So for the best pricing and selection, hurry in to Stan McNabb Chevy today. Don't risk losing the Social Security disability benefits you have earned. I'm Russell Hedges with Moore & Hedges Attorneys at Law. I bring over 25 years of experience and dedication to your case. My Social Security team will walk you through the process. We can increase your chances of winning and maximize the benefits due to you. If we do not win, you will not owe us a fee. Call me, Russell Hedges with Moore & Hedges Attorneys at Law for maximum returns and minimum concerns. Welcome back. After more than two weeks since the August 7th elections, incumbent U.S. Representative Scott Desjardins has officially won the Republican primary in the 4th Congressional District. Congressman Desjardins' 38-vote victory is one of the smallest margins for a congressional race in recent history. Desjardins' opponent, Jim Tracy, conceded yesterday after announcing that he would not seek a recount. Tracy, in a statement explaining why he would not request a recount, said, quote, a contest would not be the right thing for the Republican Party and the conservative cause in Tennessee. I have called Representative Desjardins to inform him of my decision to concede and congratulated him, end quote. Tracy raised $1.4 million for his primary challenge, allowing him to outspend Desjardins by more than three to one margin in the race. Congressman Desjardins said yesterday, quote, I want to thank the people of Tennessee's 4th Congressional District for once again putting their faith in my ability to serve them. I promise I will never take that trust for granted. I am glad we can now come together as Republicans and start focusing on the general election in November, end quote. With the primary win, Congressman Desjardins would have to be considered the favorite in the November general election against his Democratic opponent. Mitt Romney carried the heavily Republican district with 65 percent of the vote in his 2012 presidential election. Manchester and Tullahoma voters will decide the fate of wine sales in grocery and convenience stores during November balloting. A last-minute petition drive on Thursday landed enough valid signatures to include the referendum vote locally. Wine sale referendums will not be held in Winchester, Cowan, or Deckard in Franklin County. Those favoring the Coffee County vote say it could lead to new shopping alternatives. The Coffee County Election Commission says the ballot will feature a simple yes or no vote on wine sales in grocery and convenience stores. State lawmakers earlier this year approved added wine sales in communities that already have packaged liquor stores or offer liquor by the drink subject to a referendum. If approved, Manchester and Tullahoma stores couldn't sell wine until July of 2016. Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam and Tennessee Department of Transportation Commissioner John Shore recently announced safe routes to school funding for the city of Manchester totaling $26,900. The city of Manchester will utilize the safe routes to school funds for a school activity plan for Westwood Elementary and Westwood Middle School. This award will fund educational programs and prom promotional activities to encourage walking and biking as a practical and healthy initiative for approximately 920 students. 
The Tennessee Valley Authority Board of Directors approved a $10.5 billion fiscal year 2014 budget at its meeting Thursday of last week. Directors also approved a 1.5% retail rate increase. The rate increase was TVA's first increase in two years, which was less than the economy's modest growth in inflation since TVA's last rate increase in 2011. The rate adjustment will add about $1.50 to the monthly power bill of a residential consumer using 1,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. TVA President and CEO Bill Johnson said, quote, demand for our product is down and that won't change anytime soon. The weather, the economy, energy efficiency, demand response, and rate design are all factors. We're working harder than ever to reduce our costs, but they are not declining at the rate of our sales and revenues, end quote. TVA also is executing a plan to reduce overhead costs by $500 million by 2015, with employees and leadership identifying efficiencies, cost reductions, and cost avoidance opportunities. Nearly $150 million in reductions have been achieved this fiscal year, with plans for an additional $150 million by the end of 2014 and another $200 million in 2015. More news later on 6 is coming up after the messages. Trucks! Trucks! The number one selling truck for 35 years straight, the Ford F-Series, can be found at Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester. We have a huge selection of over 100 trucks to choose from. With Ford manufactured rebates and incentives up to $10,000 or 0% financing available, now is the time to buy. So come on down to Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester and remember... Trucks! Trucks! And more trucks! Why buy? anywhere else. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick mart where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any Quick Mart today and not only save time, but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. Welcome back. The Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration is planning to honor veterans this Thursday night. Jim spoke with Karen Inman, who tells us more about the event. This is a walking horse celebration time in Shelbyville, as I'm sure you guys are aware of, because we're doing a lot of programming on that right now. And uh, Karen kind of occupies a very special place, a very special connection with the walking horse in industry. And tell us what that is, Karen. Well, my husband is the CEO <laughs> of the celebration. And real frankly, Jim, we've been coming up for, I guess, 33, 34 years. I, I, I know that you're busy in your own right uh, doing so. I know you guys were instrumental, I think, in doing the ribbon thing to kind of bring yeah, awareness. Well, Virginia, of, that, was a rege that was the brainchild of Virginia Stewart, right. but I certainly did help. We laughed that we walked the streets in Shelbyville together at our age because <laughs> we were, had these big ribbons. We looked like little old cheerleaders. I mean, we had these big ribbons that looked like pom-poms, and the we couldn't be more happy with the, with the results that we've had from the business people and and showing our uh, spectators because everybody's buying ribbons as you drive around town you're going to see the big red and blue and yellow ribbons all over and right. it's just to show support and we're so appreciative of that and you can get your flag at the celebration to put on your car absolutely they're only ten dollars and they're darling and we're seeing those all over town too we couldn't be more thankful really okay you know just in case you forgot you know the celebration has a huge economic impact on, the, on our media area, not just uh, the city of Shelbyville but Tullahoma Manchester Winchester that's that's all all of Middle Tennessee, all really. Of so uh, there's a lot of people benefit from the fact that so many people come from out of town into this area. Yeah. Big time economic impact. Doing something special for the veterans. We really are. And that's why I'm here today, Jim, and I want to thank you again for having me. Oh, I absolutely. sincerely appreciate it. What we're doing is the second Thursday night, which is the first championship night. That's Thursday, August the 28th. Uh -huh. We are doing a Veterans Appreciation Night. 
Let me just segue real quickly and tell you that I grew up in the Vietnam era. Mm -hmm. So I had friends and family and things that did the Vietnam, Vietnamese thing. And they came home and a lot of them weren't appreciated the way they should be. Mm -hmm. And we don't ever, ever want that to happen again. Absolutely. I don't care where, what you did with the military. We appreciate you because we all know none of us would be, live in the safe, happy place we do today without them. Sure. And we want to show that appreciation. And so that Thursday night, we're going to do a thing. First of all, you know, we'll have our regular opening ceremonies right. with the flag and the white horse and that's so much fun and the invocation and the right immediately after that we're going to have each branch of the of the military come in and we'll have Larry Bright our organist will play anchors away for the Navy and you know the all of the different anthems and then they will and then the flag for that branch uh -huh. and then they'll march behind I do want every we, we want to invite all of our veterans to participate please we are giving you free parking free entry and a couple of drink tickets right. so all you have to let us know is that you want to participate i w would ask please if you're watching let your husbands your brothers your sons know to 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 join us i do need you to call 931 684 5915 that's our celebration number we need to know what branch you're with and I'll, we'll give you all the particulars about being here, but we really, really want everyone to come. We want everyone to stand up and, who, excuse me, I'm passionate about this, and show appreciation because we appreciate them. Absolutely, and uh, I think this is the first time that this particular kind of event has occurred. It is. So how appropriate. It, it is, is, and we know. hope to make it a yearly event. We hope it will grow and grow. I mean, right. we are going to have some military vehicles on the grounds that night. Oh, neat. Um, we hope for a flyover. We're just a little bit late for that. Surprisingly, there's some government cutbacks, but we are hoping that that'll happen in the next couple of years. Um, we want it to grow. It's not going to grow without participation. Sure. So we really, really want your participation. And later on that evening, we want them to stay and we want lots of people to come. We also have a local talent, Shelby Lee Lowe, is going uh -huh. to sing. Um, he kind of starts out with Dixie and he ends up with Lee Greenwood's Proud to be an American. Oh, my goodness. It's a heartwarming thing. We'll have a couple of horses with flags under the spotlights. We have a have a wonderful horse friend named Bob Honeycutt uh -huh. that's driving here from Georgia. We're putting him up because no one can do this oration of Old Glory, our flag, like uh -huh. Bob Honeycutt can. I promise you it'll bring tears to your eye and goosebumps to your skin when you hear this. And he'll do that, and then we'll have Shelby Lilo singing. Later that night, after the celebration's over, we do have have a free concert so we hope that you'll stay for that too by Shelby Lilo again it's local talent that we want to promote and okay. he's wonderfully supremely talented he just came back from tour as a matter of fact okay so we, we welcome you we invite you please participate and be with us we really really want you to okay that's a great great tribute plan and this is on Thursday night yeah the, the 28th, 20th, the, 28th. the second Thursday the first championship night so there should be lots and lots of people in the stands uh, that's exactly right I, and we don't want you to forget that either because there is a horse show and it's yeah. a special one that night as, as uh, uh, you mentioned because it is championship night. Right. Yes. That is correct. Okay. All right. Karen, thank you so much Jim, for coming by today. thank you we so much. I can't tell you how much it. we appreciate we you. We appreciate you thank guys you. as well. Folks, get out to that celebration. I, we'd love for you to go every night because it's going to be a great celebration. It's going to be a great year. show. And uh, we want you to, to take advantage of that, especially <laughs> next uh, Thursday night, uh, August 28th. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment. Let the Smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop thesmokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. Looking for a unique gift for someone special, or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel, and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. 
There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick mark where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. You stop by any quick mark today and not only save time but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. Welcome back. Scott Rydell, director of the Hands-On Science Center in Tullahoma, stopped by our studio last week and spoke with Channel 6's Peggy Burton about some new programs the center is initiating. What's going on? It's October 25th, which is our huge fundraiser, and that's our science of wine and brew. And, and that's a big deal. Yeah, that's our, I mean, that's our really big fundraiser, and um, you know, it's going to be on a Saturday also. Needless to say, it's for 21 and older, but it's our fundraiser. And exactly. we're, and it's, uh, we're going to have samplings of wine, and uh, uh, craft beers, domestic and international wines, gourmet food samplings, entertainment, auctions. And you probably require upfront tickets? Uh, yes, we'll be selling tickets. Uh, like I said, uh, just put that on your calendar because we'll be selling tickets here very, very soon. Okay. We're also looking for sponsors and silent auction items. Uh, it, but it's a really fun night. Uh, it, it starts at 7 o'clock till 10, but it's a really, really That's fun night. It's a wonderful opportunity to support the Hands On Science Center for our children and our adults. Yes, and that's, and that's what we're trying to get here. We, you know, we're trying to get, you know, uh, basically some community support there right. to help us out and uh, keep the, you know, because right now um, our family membership is only $55. That's one of the lowest in the regions. Um, our admission price is only $5 per person, three and older. And people need to remember that that gets you in a lot of other facilities yeah, they get across you the nation. They get you access to over 300 other museums nationwide. That's wonderful. Um, and like I said, even our admission cost is only $5 uh, for three and older, and even that's even one of the lowest in the region. Uh, if you've ever been to some of the other ones, you, you know, you, uh, a, yeah, a, you'll, yeah, a whole lot more. Uh, so we try to keep our, that, and the reason we do that is we keep our costs as low as possible because we want as many people as possible sure. to come to the Hands-On Science Center. Um, but also if you get a membership, uh, you know, it gives you good discounts on birthday parties, which we do birthday parties also. Um, our hours are Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Sunday 1 to 5, but we're closed on Mondays. So you can go almost any time. Oh, yeah. And, and I a, know you encourage schools to bring uh, groups of children, yes. and I know they do. Do. Oh, Some yeah. of them do. Last year we had over 80 field trips at the Hands On Science awesome. Center. We serve 11 counties. Uh, have uh, For the last two years in a row, we've had over 20,000 visitors each year, and about 12,500 of those were children. That's wonderful. So uh, we're really proud. It really uh, speaks well. Yeah, we're really proud of that. Um, we also have started up our, our WIS Kid and Homeschool program again. On the third Friday of every month uh, is our homeschool program, where uh, children first through sixth, seventh grade in can two. come and do some experiments and learn more about science. I'm sure you have a website. Yes, and uh, there must be lots of people that would like to can't get all this in their head right now. Oh, I know. I, so like I said, there's so many things going on. Yeah, it's, there's so many things going on. You can go to our website. Also, uh, um, I always tell people, if you're online and uh, on Facebook, please like us on Facebook yeah. because that's where we put almost like the current information because we have so much going on. So all these do type in Hands-On Science Center. Mm -hmm. Facebook, it pop, will pop up on Facebook and you can just sit there and that's where I'm sure you have a website. Yes. And, uh, and there uh, must be lots of people that would like to can't get all this in their head right now. Oh, I know. I, so, like I said, there's so many things going on. Yeah, it's, there's so many things going on. You can go to our website. Also, uh, um, I always tell people, if you're online and uh, on Facebook, please like us on Facebook yeah. because that's where we put almost like the current information because we have so much going on. So all these do type in Hands-On Science Center. Mm -hmm. Facebook, it pop, will pop up on Facebook and you can just sit there and that's where our daily stuff will be. And you, and you can see everything that's mm -hmm. going on. Yeah, because like I said, you know, whether it's a star party, a story time, which is the second Tuesday of each <laughs> month. Yeah. Uh, and you know, we're like have a lot of really good programs. We have a lot of things going on, and we want to make sure as many people know about them as possible. <laughs> yes, uh, also, we, uh, I mean, I'd like to say, yeah. any, any donations is encouraged and greatly appreciated. Um, the the Hands On Science Center, like I said, does not receive any state or federal funding. It's just totally. Um, it's locally supported. Here. Uh, uh, that um, in grants. I mean, it's our that small admission prize, that small membership fee, you know, like small you staff, and a lot of volunteers and a lot of volunteer boards that keeps that thing going every single day for 19 years now. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. The highest standard of integrity delivers stability and honor. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of integrity in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, 
Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. An annual event started in 1939 will continue on August 20th through August 30th, 2014, when the World Grand Championship Celebration will once again be held in Shelbyville, Tennessee at the Celebration Arena. Each year, people come from all over the world to contend for the coveted honor of being crowned World Grand Champion. From the wonderful flat shod to the exciting performance horse, they will fill the ring with the breed's best of the best. The celebration supports local charities, and this year they are asking everyone to come out and support the largest nonprofit event in Middle Tennessee and the 14 charities that depend on this event to fund their cause. Come out and be a part of a family tradition by showing your support to the 76th Annual Walking Horse National Celebration. For ticket and box seat information, call 931-684-5915. Welcome back. Turnovers proved to be the downfall of the Shelbyville Golden Eagles Friday night as they lost 40-26 to to Marshall County in spite of gaining over 500 yards on offense. Jim spoke with head coach Jason Hardy about the game. Shelbyville Golden Eagles kicked off last night. Uh, didn't turn out quite like you wanted to, Coach Hardy, but uh, you know there's some good things happened as well. Yeah, you know, we're excited to come in this 2014 season. Got a lot of expectations, but uh, last night wasn't our best effort. Uh, a lot of, a lot of things that that we can improve on is the main thing. But just too many mistakes last night, and as you'll see in the film in a minute. And when you make that many mistakes, uh, you're going to get the results we got last night, and that was a you know a, a L in the column. Yeah, and of course, uh, it's early in the season, and I guess when you're going to make those mistakes, it's better to make them at this point against a non-district opponent than it is uh, oh, yeah. later in the year. Yeah, I mean, you know, something to build on. We'll watch film. We'll talk about it and hope that that leads on to, to positive things in the future. You know, just the main thing is not to make the same mistakes week two, week three that you did in week, you know, week one. Exactly. You know, I talked to you yesterday afternoon. You were concerned about the heat. Do you think that really affected your guys last night? Well, it did to a point. Uh, you know, I... Uh, I think early on we didn't handle it real well, but in the second half we actually outgained them and uh, our conditioning came in. So I think the first half it was more about our mental mental fatigue than it was our physical fatigue. But uh, you know it was, it was hot out there for both teams. Yeah. But uh, it, it definitely it definitely had a, had an impact. Trouble started for the Tullahoma Wildcats on the very first play from scrimmage against McGavick Friday night, and the trouble didn't stop until the scoreboard read 42 to seven in favor of the Raiders. The Wildcats threw an interception on their first play from scrimmage, which McGavick quickly turned into a touchdown, and the onslaught didn't stop until the Raiders had built a 21 to nothing first quarter lead. To their credit, the Wildcats continued to battle, and when Eli Grow hooked up with Jake Crabtree for a 26-yard touchdown in the second quarter, it cut the deficit to a manageable 21-7 going into halftime. But turnovers again killed Tullahoma's momentum in the second half as the Cats gave the ball away on four straight possessions with McGavock turning three of those turnovers into touchdowns. John Gray spoke with head coach John Olive Saturday morning prior to the fifth quarter show. Home opened up the season with a game at home against McGavock. And coach, I was not able to attend that ball game. Uh, how, how, how did all that play out last night? Well... Great community support. I had a tailgate party ahead of the ball game where we had kids from all over the community down there and having their shirts signed by cheerleaders and football players and face painted and good community event. I think it was the 18th year yeah. of that. And um, band participates in that as well, don't they? Band participates yeah, in it good. and. Uh, they have a small pep rally over there, and we had a great pep rally at the school yesterday. Uh, the product on the field didn't match the enthusiasm that the community had. and um, you know, Part of that is we were playing against a really good football team. I think it's a football team that if they stay healthy, McGavick 
uh, win quite a few ball games this year. They are a very, very fast football team, and they're also a very, very physical football team. Now, are they in our classification? No, they're one of the biggest schools in our state. Okay, so. And uh, they, uh, this new classification coming up, they'll be one of those super 32 schools as they fall in the top 32 schools okay. in our state size wise. And don't forget to tune in for this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Mindy from Urgent Team, who will speak to us about Telehoma's upcoming health fair. Life care representatives will speak to us about how pets can help us live longer, happier lives. And Motlow's Dr. Mary Lou Apple will remind high school seniors that in order to get a free two years of college, they have to be signed up before the deadline. All that and more on this week's Living. We'll be right back with your weather forecast. It's a Kia Cadenza kind of day at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. This luxurious Kia has too many features to mention with prices starting as low as $33,943. With America's best warranty, the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. We have a huge selection to choose from here at Russell Barnett Kia. And mention this ad and receive an additional $500 off your next Kia Cadenza purchase. And remember, why buy anywhere else? Life moves fast, but on the internet, it moves at super speed. Like the awesome video that was posted last night, Today it'll be shared, then adored, then parodied, <laughs> then overexposed. And by tomorrow morning, rediscovered by a whole new generation of users. Download faster, upload faster, stream faster, and experience life at the speed of internet with high-speed charter internet. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Cove Lake, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Martin Weekly, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, Rugby in the Big South Fork, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at TennesseeTrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1943 at 102 degrees. Record low was in 1958 at 51 degrees. The average high on this day is 87 and the average low is 65. Tonight, look for clear and calm weather with a low of around 67. Mostly sunny weather in the forecast for Wednesday with a high of 91 and a low of 68. And mostly sunny weather continuing into Thursday with a high of 93 and a low of 67. And Jim, we want to wish a very happy birthday to our own Philip Scoggins here at Channel 6. Ab absolutely. He's getting older and older. Uh, well, what is this, 54? Uh, something like that. Yeah. I think he would say wiser instead wiser, of older. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, no, I actually, Philip's only 44, but happy birthday, Philip. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a great evening. Have a great evening.